welcome to my channel sai surya's academy if you are new to my channel then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more interesting videos in today's video we had already been discussing the number system conversion in this series in today's video we are going to discuss about the binary to hexadecimal conversion we all know that the binary system consists of only zeros and ones and it consists of a base to number system whereas the hexadecimal it consists of digits from 0 to 15 and it contains base 16 number system so what is the methodology to be followed for converting binary to hexadecimal here we are, we are going to discuss about two types of methods that is for integer method and for a fractional method in the integer method itself we have two types of methods one method is the first that is the first method is we have to convert the binary to the decimal number system and then again from the decimal number system we have to convert it into the hexadecimal number system and the second type method consists of converting directly from the binary number to the hexadecimal using a grouping method we can see the these two methods one by one consider the first method consider a example 1100101 the basic idea here is we have to convert it into the decimal first we have to convert it into the decimal and then we have to convert to hexadecimal for converting to decimal here since it consists of base 2 we have to add the weightages starting from the right to the left so the first digit 1 2 power 0 is assigned 0 2 power 1 1 2 power 2 0 2 power 3 0 2 power 4 1 2 power 5 and finally 1 2 power 6 after the weightages are added we have to multiply with the concerned digits and the sum of the products has to be found so 1 into 2 power 6 1 into 2 power 5 plus 0 into 2 power 4 0 into 2 power 3 plus 1 into 2 power 2 plus 0 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 0 and then we are getting 1 into 2 power 6 64 1 into 2 power 5 32 again 2 zeros 1 into 2 power 2 4 again 0 1 into 2 power 0 1 so the total sum is 101 to the base of 10 now we had attained the decimal value after getting the decimal value for converting to hexadecimal the idea here is we have to divide this number by 16 until it reaches a minimum value the remainder has to be noted and the final value has to be written from the bottom to the top so consider 101 and divide it by the 16 so when dividing by 16 6 16s are 96 and the remainder is 5 so we have to write from the bottom to the top so 6 5 the remainder 5 it is noted as 65 to the base of 16 which is the attained hexadecimal value this is the first method now we are going to see about the second method that is the grouping method how the numbers can be grouped so that it can be attain a value we all know that the hexadecimal number system it can when it converts to binary or it can be represented in a binary number system by four digits four digits numbers consider this table zero is represented as zero 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 till it attains 15 from 10 it is represented by alphabets 10 to 15 is represented by a to f 10 is represented as 1010 and 15 represented as 1111 we all know this table already suppose if he doesn't know how to make this table or how to convert 
just convert by dividing the number by 2. Consider a small example 2 2 divided by 2 1 0 write it from the bottom to the top 1 0 since we are representing it by 4 digits it can be represented as 0 0 1 0 similarly for all the other numbers you can find if you can't remember the table just you can do on your own now about the grouping method how we can able to divide the numbers we can see now Consider the number, the same example what I had taken here in the first method 11001011001. Here the numbers has to be grouped by 4 binary digits to convert to hexadecimal. So starting from the right to the left. So starting from the right to the left the numbers has to be divided as 0101 and 110. So we, we want to change it into hexadecimal. So we need 4 binary digits. So here it is represented 0101 the first 4 binary divided digits and then again 110. So we want to when you want to change to hexadecimal we have to have 4 binary digits. So a 0 is added before here. This 0 we have to add. Since we have 3 binary digits, this 0 has, has to be added. After adding 0, the values can be converted. So 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0 here represents 6. It is noted. 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. It is represented as 5. It is noted here. So 65 to the base of 16. So the answer what we had got in the first method that is by converting to hexadecimal and then to sorry by, for, by converting to decimal and then to hexadecimal we had attained 65. Here by grouping method we had attained simply the answer as 65 using this grouping method. And next consider grouping with fraction. And then in the first method also, that is the grouping method also, a shortcut can be used for finding the value. That is for 0, 1, 0, 1. How we can be able to, when you can't be able to remember the value, the, remember the table. How we can be able to find 0, 1, 0, 1. Consider the example 0, 1, 0, 1. Since it is a binary number, weightages can be added. 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3. Just to leave all those 0 values. So 1 into 2 power 2, 4 plus 0. Again, 1 into 2 power 0, 2 power 0, 1. So 4 plus 1 which gives the value as 5. When you have confusion with the table, you can use this simple method and find the value. Okay, now consider the next example, grouping with fraction. When we have a, this is for the integer number. When you have a fractional number, how grouping can be done? Here yeah, there is a slight modification here. So, when considering the integer number, we had already stated that from the Right to the left, the numbers has to be grouped. What about the number uh, that is the fractional number? The numbers can be grouped starting from the left to the right. That is here this number can be grouped as 1, 2, 3, 4. Just for your representation, I am doing here 1, 1, 0, 0, 4 digit here. And then here starting from the left to the right 1101 So when representing 0010 0011 here we are left with 11. So in order to convert to hexadecimal we need 4 digit binary. 
So for 1, 1, here we are adding this two zeros. So it is, we can have now as 0, 0, 1, 1. Similarly, in the fractional part also, after converting 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, here we are left with two digits, 0, 1. So in this portion, a 0, 0 can be added here to convert it into four digit binary. So 0, 1, 0, 0. So now we have all the partition has a four digit binary. So when four digit binary using this table you can convert here. You can either use this table and convert or you can use this simple method by adding weightages and you can find the value when you can't remember this table. So consider 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, it represents 3. Again, 0, 0, 1, 1, it represents 3. 0, 0, 1, 0, it represents 2. 1, 1, 0, 1, it represents 13. 1, 1, 0, 1, represents 13. 13 has to be represented by the alphabet D. So, again, it is converted to D. Similarly, 1, 1, 0, 1, 13 value and it is represented by the alphabet D. And finally, 0, 1, we are left with 0, 1 and two zeros are added here. So now the value becomes 0, 1, 0, 0, which represents the value 4. So 4 is written here. So the final value is 332.D, D, 4. D is represented for 13. So, D, D, 4 to the base of 16. This is the final value. So, today we had seen binary to hexadecimal with two methods for integer number and for a fractional number. For the integer number, the base idea is we are converting it into decimal and after converting to decimal, we are converting to hexadecimal. This is the first method and the next simple method is called the grouping method. For integer number, we have to group the numbers starting from the right to the left. And for the fractional number, similarly, we have to group the numbers starting from the left to the right. Suppose if, it, if there is a shortage or if, if the numbers contain only two digits, each and every partition should have a four digit binary. So for converting this two digit, we can add two zeros here. Similarly, here we are left over with only two binary digits, zero, one. So again, two zeros can be added. Now each and every partition have a four digit binary and the particular hexadecimal value is represented and the final value is noted here. Okay, that's all for today's video. Keep supporting Sai Suryas Academy. Thank you.